50 years ago, Dick Morley invented the PLC, the Programmable Logic Controller. Not only did he create a rugged modular system, but he also invented a programming language, Relay Ladder Logic, as it was called at that time. Nowadays, it's often called Ladder Diagram. It reflects the electrical wiring of a system at that time, so it was close to the user. Europe came with an answer, especially in Germany, instruction list, Anweisungsliste. And with these two languages, one could build complex automation systems. What was quickly noticed is that the cost of developing software outperformed the cost of all other elements in a production line, like the buildings, the controllers, the electric stuff around it. So we had to control the cost of the application software over its life cycle. Or otherwise stated, software is about managing complexity. And for that reason, there was already a long time standardization process going on. With the result that 30 years ago, the IEC 1131 standard came along. At that time, it was called 1131. Nowadays, it's called 61131. This was also the moment to start the organization PLC Open, and I am the managing director of this organization for many years already. Part 3 of the IEC 61131 standard provides a programming methodology. Apart from the two languages that are shown here, letter diagram and instruction list, there are two other languages, structure text, a textual language, and function block diagram, a graphical language. And on top of that, there is a structuring tool defined, Sequential Function Chart, SFC. This helps you to decompose your problem, working towards a solution. Based on this, PLC Open initially looked at the compliance levels of these programming languages. It was important to make sure that the suppliers fulfilled the basic requirements. To get more conformity, more harmonization across the different suppliers, and across the different development systems. You see our compliance levels coming up here. Base level, conformity level, and reusability level. That was the focus of PLC Open at the beginning. However, we realized that for machines, we needed besides the logic, as defined in the IEC 611131-3 standard, to add motion control. We had to integrate the logic and the motion into one development environment. And that helps the user, of course, tremendously. Also in moving to mechatronic solutions. But it also meant that we had to standardize the functionalities in motion control. Create a motion control programming language. And so we did. PLC Open Motion Control, which nowadays consists of a whole suite of specifications, including user guidelines, as well as many, many implementations, providing a wealth of choice, always the same look and feel. And when the machine starts moving, we all know that we need to think about safety, safety of the operating personnel. So we started to develop specifications for this, and we harmonized the look and feel of these safety functionalities to ease the work of the machine builders. And in addition, to shorten the certification time to make sure they comply with the safety regulations. Nowadays, also PLC Open Safety consists of a suite of specifications, including user guidelines. And it did not stop there. We realized that there were aisles of automation, separate machines which needed to be connected. So we defined the connection based on OPC UA unified architecture a technology as provided by the OPC Foundation, being independent of a network architecture. And that meant that we could suddenly exchange data, or more precisely, information, because that is what we need, exchange of information. Now we can combine these aisles of automation via communication between them, easing the integration of whole production lines. Also, we looked at the different categories of software tools and realized we needed an exchange format, making it possible to exchange projects and partial information between the different software tools. 
tools for software development as well for tools that generate relevant information, like UML tools or documentation tools, or with a software tool that helps to specify the timings within your application program. So over time, we created a whole suite of specifications, logic, motion, safety, which are the basics for the machine builder, and communication and exchange. We support this with a whole set of training guidelines, where we show examples on how to create your own function block libraries to increase reusability and implement coding guidelines for improvement of the quality of your code. We provide guidelines for a structured development process and on how to use the object-oriented features OOP as released in the third edition of the Logic Standard. All this made it possible to build machines from relatively simple to more complex, to complete production lines. For example, for food packaging or for cars. There you saw a shift from the manual labor as with the assembly of the Ford Model T to fully automated production lines that we have nowadays. It is of course not limited to cars or to packaging. There are a lot of other areas transport, control of bridges, pharmaceuticals, food processing. Overall, it provides a very broad application area. So look at PLC Open after 30 years. The organization changed the market of industrial automation and is on top of new developments, making the organization ready for the future. And PLC Open always helps you to become more effective and efficient in your specific environment. If you want to make sure that you are part of that effort, join us, give feedback on our specifications and help us to create new ones. Thank you for your attention.